Hi, this is Rick Pedlet, and welcome to PK Safety Supply. Today we're going to be looking at the Ray Systems Gamma Ray 2R. This is a personal radiation detector and dosimeter in one. We'll be looking at what comes in the box and uh, uh, so some of the features. Uh, so we'll start by pulling it out. Open the box. On top, you're going to get a calibration and test certificate. Now, this unit needs no calibration once it's uh, been uh, you've gotten it from the factory, so set that aside. Owner's manual, quite a bit of information in here. It's available for download on our site. Warranty card, pretty typical stuff. Um, and then the unit itself. Batteries, these are just AA outline, nothing special there. Uh, belt clip and uh, wrist lanyard. So we'll pull the unit out here. It's uh, black rubberized. It's a little hard maybe to see on the video, but there's a mode button on the left and a set button on the right. Mode turns the unit on and off and goes through the menus. Set allows you to change the values. We have a high decibel alarm on the front. Of uh, bright LEDs on either side that are going to go off in uh, various types of uh, things. There's also a vibration alarm. Digital display on the top is going to tell you what's going on with the unit. On the back, alligator clip, stainless steel, it's quite heavy, serrated edges, going to grab onto your belt or vest or whatever you might have in mind. Ring to uh, uh, go with the lanyard. And a uh, single screw will allow you to put the uh, belt clip on. So the unit comes uh, with the batteries separate. So I'll give you an Allen wrench here, and there's a, a, a little thing on the side. We'll open up here. Just back that out. Pop the thing off. There's indication on the back of which way the battery should go. So we'll just uh, stick those in there. Okay. Pop the cover back on. And then we tighten the uh, screw down with the uh, provided Allen wrench. Okay. Turn the unit on. We're going to hit the mode switch. We'll just hold it down, usually about three to five seconds. Alarm goes off. See these LEDs on either side? Not very bright under the lights here, but uh, in the uh, you know, dim room, it'd be quite uh, quite a bit of the thing, unit vibrated. Um, while this thing's warming up, which takes about two minutes, uh, it's uh, going to check the background radiation. Hopefully we're in an area that does not have radiation, so it's going to set a baseline and check out the sensors, make sure that the sensors are working properly. If there's a problem, it'll tell you. So while it's doing that, let's think of about a couple of features. Um, unit data logs, of course, with the dosimeter, um, going to keep a running tally of what you have uh, been exposed to, you or your employees. The unit interestingly has a stealth mode, so we can go into the menus and we can eliminate the uh, bright LEDs and the loud alarm so that the unit will only vibrate. Very good if you're maybe in a, something where you don't want the thing to alarm people. It's uh, quite regularly built with a uh, rubberized exterior, quite water resistant, and uh, has a, uh, uh, it can be dropped from five feet. The uh, batteries, which are included, are good for about 900 hours of runtime. And like with any electronic unit, if you're not going to use it for quite some time, probably a good idea to remove those batteries. The weight with the batteries is about 11 ounces. Um, the uh, case, rubberized, has metal underneath, so it's quite uh, RF resistant, so things like um, radios are not going to set the unit off. So uh, now it's, uh, it's up to speed. It's measuring, it says two cycles per second. Um, and uh, as I say, t tremendous amount of information in the owner's manual as far as how you might actually uh, use the thing. It does have built-in Bluetooth, so the, uh, you can communicate with a PC. There is uh, the uh, ProRay uh, software is available for download on the Ray Systems website. This will allow you to take whatever information this thing might gather and you can then manipulate it on your computer and in fact maybe do a few adjustments on the thing as well. Now to turn the unit off, we're going to do the same thing with the mode switch. We're just going to press it in and hold it. And once it's been, a, a, I don't know, two, three seconds, it's going to start beeping and telling you that the unit's uh, turning off. So it's counting down right now from five to zero. And then once that's happened, it's going to 
completed shutdown and we're ready to go. Um, that's basically that. Thank you very much.